Hey guys, Nscale Train Boy here, and I'm finally back with another layout update. Uh, I know it's been a while, but uh, I've been away. I've been on a couple trips to uh, one to New Orleans, one to Cape Cod. Uh, had a lot of fun on those vacations, but now I'm back, and uh, in that time I've been able to do a little bit of work uh, on the layout here. Um, not a ton, but uh, enough that I'm ready to make another video here. So the first thing I wanted to point out is that I have nicely finished all the, the wood along all the sides of the layout now. Um, so it has a nice, much cleaner, more finished appearance. I just thought my Around the Layout podcast 2022, ATLP 2022 interchange tour sticker on there. And I figure out where I put my BNCCS stickers. I'll slap one right in the middle. And I've got my throttle and the switch list here. I was getting ready to do. Switching up is when I decided to uh, do a video first. Uh, I don't believe I had these last time, but I have these utility poles up. In case I didn't mention them last time, they're here now. Um, so they go from over here along, they cut diagonally across the tracks, and then continue on the uh, south side of the tracks. Um, off the other end. Um, so those have been added. Uh, I have done a bunch of electrical work. So if I dip the camera under the layout, you can see lots of wiring down here. I basically what I've done is added a bus and I have gone ahead and added some feeders around all the turnouts and at both ends of the layout as well as on some of the sidings, just to make things a little bit more working well. Um, so, I've done that, uh, and you can see some of the feeders here. I still have to paint, I gotta get, see if I can get a nice brown paint marker to paint over the solder. There's a couple of places I got some rather large bits of uh, blobs of solder. Um, and the other thing I've done is I've gone in on some of these frogs, especially this frog and this frog used to be big uh, pro problem causers, but I've gone in, uh, I've seen people mention online that uh, Atlas Code 55 frogs can be somewhat troublesome. So uh, what I've seen people say is a solution is just to go in with a file. So I went in with a file, I deepened and widened the frog just a bit. And uh, that has made it so that these, these frogs no longer cause any issues. Um, I gotta really run through all my frogs here and see, I think this one and this one are somewhat problematic, so I'll have to adjust those as well, probably. But uh, it's worked a treat, so I'm happy to say that. And then the probably biggest thing that I've spent time working on, which, um, I am very happy with how it's come out, is uh, if I go ahead and turn out the lights, I have gone ahead and added some Woodland Scenics Just Plug Lighting System to, well, this building had already had it, I just had to cut a hole to run a wire, added it to this building just on the first floor, because I think that's interesting. Um, I have to go in and really remask a lot of what's inside there because it's the problem is these two kits I built why well, probably 10 or so years ago now so I, I really didn't do one they're not put together exceptionally well which I've hidden a lot of that with weathering but um, I didn't mask any of the interior off or anything like that I just added one coat of black paint to the inside before I lit it up but uh, it's clearly not enough and then Obviously my lumber shed, I added uh, the same just plug light into, but what I did was basically just put a blob of orange paint, a little dot of orange paint right on the LED. And that gives it that nice kind of orange tone, which is you know, more common in a lot of industrial settings that I've seen. And then I've also gone in and put in some street lights. I think I might put in one more street light here um, and then potentially one over here. I haven't decided yet, but these just plug street lights are so easy to use and just wire them all up to one button. Um, 
Yeah, so that's been really some of the largest stuff that I've worked on. Um, if I go into the lumber yard here, I've got everything set up for an ops, little switching ops. But if I go in here, you can see I've gone ahead and just knocked over a box, but I've, I've cut some scale lumber and stacked it up in there. I've got to straighten that up and add some more scale lumber in there, so that's nicer. But um, yeah, overall, very happy with how the layout is coming out. Um, so, hope you enjoyed this layout update. I know, pretty brief, but uh, hopefully next time, in a week or two, I'll be able to get some more scenery done um, and maybe start working on some structures for this end of the layout. Paint this guy up, weather it, add, I've got a couple gooseneck lamps I want to add and I'll put another just plug box right here and just wire it to the uh, expansion hub which I have screwed in right there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew these, flip them over and screw them in, that way instead of the wires coming up the top they go down the bottom, just because I think that's that'll look a little nicer visually rather than having all these wires stick up and I'll have to, you know, tape them down or something, but I think I might do that, we'll see. But until then, thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, after I get this up and I do some switching here, I'm gonna be working on part two of the Northlands video, which is the second half of the tour. So look forward to that. But until then, again, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoy. Hope you're enjoying following me on this process of improving and redoing this layout. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, y'all.